Hey YouTube, this is FireWizard23, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Quest, Brian's Journey. So, we have arrived, and we're gonna face Mammon. Let's take a look at what we got here. We have the, <laughs> the Dark Gold. I could even spell it right here, really. The Elotel Book and the respective rubies. Affected by jewels. We have some items to help us out. I must remember that I do have golden amulets that I'm assuming is going to uh, give us really good defense. We're probably gonna have to use that in this battle. Let's see what happens. Here's Mama. Ha, 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 ha. Brian, I totally do not look like a cardboard cutout. I've been waiting. It's been a thousand years since I was imprisoned here. It was a long wait. Now release me from this bondage. At last, I can fly away from this prison. Thank you for doing this. I will destroy you quickly and painlessly. That's boss time against Mama. Ow! Jerk! I'll raise the D. No, 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 no. Okay, that's good. Alright. Now we're cooking. Alright, Mama, you and me. Mano a mano. I'll hit you with rolling rocks. Yeah. No. Maybe I'll hit you with the power of a punch. It didn't work? My Deus Ex Machina didn't work? Okay. How about water? Power! Have I totally cheaped him out? Does he honestly not realize I'm just standing in front of him? Water! Power! Okay, I have mastered hitbox. Wind cutter! Oh, this I can do a lot of damage to that. Ow! 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 Jerk! Weapon cutter! Wind cutter! Ow! 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 Jerk! Fire wall! Oh, mix up the matches. Ow! 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 Jerk! Wind cutter! Lots of HP on this guy. But we can beat him. Yeah, first time I tried this, he toasted me. Ow! Oh, no! Amulet wore off! Quick! Amulet! Quick! Mm, mm, amulet! Gold amulet! Raise the D! Scare me, my man. Ow, 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 ow. Oh yeah? Wind color! No! I did it! Ah, uh, why? I'm not supposed to die, but my body, it's crumbling. Why am I dying? I hated life. This is death. A peaceful sleep. Did Brian win? He did it! Run! Hey, the buildings are disappearing. What is happening? Oh, there's Shannon. Mammon has been destroyed, but I'm still here. But why? Was I not bound to Mammon for eternity? Is this your doing, Brian? Somehow I was convinced you would win. I was hoping that human, human reality would defeat fantasy life. I'm going on another odyssey to re-examine these humans. I hope we will meet again somewhere. Goodbye, Brian. House was floating. What? what? Oh, I guess so. Okay. Where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay. I'm okay. And now let's play o o Oracle of Seasons. No. <laughs> what is this? What is happening? I've lent you a hand. There. It seems that your friends have arrived. Well, I'll be leaving. Th wow. Thank you. Brian, are you okay? The world is saved, thanks to you, Brian. Cowabunga! Yes, we have returned to our settlement. 
Cleveland Sullivan? I don't know how I'm supposed to say that. The legendary master. The legendary master of spirit tamer. There is heart in his magic. This is the story of the magic heart, one of the stories in Elithiel, and one of the fables of the spirit. The story of Brian, for the time being, ends here. Did, didn't Brian say that? Did I not read that right? Credits. Let's credits. Okay, well that was a thing. <laughs> Did anyone make any sense of the story that just happened? I, I kind of see what they're going for. It's just I again I don't think they finished it properly. <laughs> Compared to Quest 64, however, this is streets ahead in terms of the battle mechanic. It fixed every problem with the battle mechanics of this game, of the 64 version. It unfortunately introduced new problems. You notice there was enemies who just their attacks were just useless, they didn't really aim properly, like using like water pillar when I was clearly below them, but it, the water pillar only works left or right. But so much smoother, so much less hassle to get through things. I approve of that. The story still needs a little bit of help. <laughs> Um, I mean, 64 was void of story completely, but this one, the English, the lack of completed story, is really bad. But, I'm happy to have played this. It was such a wonderful experience to just be able to whip spells out, to say, you know, I'm gonna do all this big bad stuff, I'm gonna cast all this magic and blow you away, and just, and it works, and it just, it, it's much more solid because of that. It's, what was it I heard in uh, Banjo-Kazooie? You need to remove gameplay interruptions as much as possible for a game to work well. And I think the way the battles are so much sped, more sped up in this game, I think that really helps. It is such a encumbrance, encumbrance to the gameplay in the 64 version, how the combats work. I mean, just watch any speed run across 64 and you'll see exactly what I mean. They are just such a pain in the butt. This is the intro to them, and setting up the hexagon that you walk in, and then trying to run away, and the monsters, animation attacks, like, it's terrible. You spend so much time just going through those battles, it's ridiculous. I swear we spent like a, a tenth of that time in this game. It, it's incredible how much faster this game works because of that. Oh, but very, very nice conclusion to the game. Uh, I, mean, I mean, yeah, I guess it doesn't work, but I mean, I just, I like... I, I felt happy I played this game. Fun factor, I'd give, I'd give it a 9 out of 10, for just pure fun factor. I encourage you all to play Let's to Play Quest, Brian's Journey. This has been Firewizard23. Take care and bye-bye for now, everybody.